watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Hey folks, if you missed a tour of my bug out moto van, click below to watch now. Hey guys. You know, I went on my little trip out in the Rocky Mountains with my bug out van. You know, my motorcycle camper van that lets me camp out in the, in the van with my uh, motorcycle. I took my Yamaha WR250R out there in the Rocky Mountains, did some riding up in the mountains. And uh, I'll tell you guys, as far as living in a van, what I've learned from living in a van for two weeks. And let me tell you that it makes you really appreciate your house. <laughs> It's fun and I have a new appreciation and new respect for van dwellers. And I'll tell you guys that everything worked out great, you know. I planned everything perfectly. This little bike gets going, baby. <laughs> But uh, I planned everything out perfectly. I slept great in the van, cooked fine, took a shower and everything. But I tell you guys that everything is work. Hey, let's go fuck around over here. Everything is work, man. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Ah, oh, that was fun, man. Quick little excitement there. <laughs> but man, I tell you, this little bike is fun as hell. You guys, bitching about power. Take this bitch off road, man. And this little bike is fun as hell. It's fun on the streets, it's fucking around. But anyways, yeah, everything is work, man. You know, with uh, you got to pull the toilet out. You know, put the you know put the liner in. Put take a shit in it. Put cat litter in it. Take out the bag, wrap it up, put it in the ziploc, and then you got to uh, put the toilet away. And you know, if you shit twice a day, you got to do that work twice a day. You know, you don't have a dishwasher. You gotta wash your stuff by hand or have disposable plates. I had disposable plates, it's made it easier. Uh, what else? Uh, you know, it's obviously a lot smaller space, which you have to get used to, but you know, with the weather being nice as it was out there, you know, you just jump out of the van, stretch, and you're good, you know. But it's just. When you get home, everything, like when I got home, I was just like, wow, everything is so much easier at home. <laughs> I could just go in the bathroom, take a shit, flush the toilet, I'm good. I ain't got to wrap up the bag of shit, look at it, fucking put cat litter on that bitch. Keep that smell, that funk down, that thousand fart smell in the van. <coughs> and, uh, you know, a dishwasher, just throw your shit in the dishwasher. You don't have to, you just rinse it, throw it in the dishwasher, you're good. You know, in the van, you gotta clean, you gotta stay on top of your cleaning game, most definitely. You can't just leave shit around. Like, I, I get accustomed to just not, I'm not the cleanest person. You know, I leave a lot of shit, like clothes and stuff, on the couch and, you know. And you can't do that really in the van, because you gotta maneuver, you gotta get in and out of, you know, it, it's a tight space. So you have to stay completely organized, which is a good thing, and it keeps you from buying a lot of shit. One thing with a house is that you end up feeling, filling all that extra space up with shit. So living in a van is going to save you a lot of money and keep you from buying a lot of shit. Keep your life more simple. But another thing that I found was just, uh, was like, you know, was work was trying to, you know, camp out for free. I was going to different hotels every night, the parking lots. Uh, you don't want to stay, obviously stay at the 
you know stay in the same hotel any more than one night as far as the parking lot because then they'll notice you and they'll probably call the police and they'll you know either have your van towed or or give you a ticket or who, who knows what the fuck they'll do I don't know I never got approached because I never stayed any more than one night but a lot of times I was very careful on my selection left the damn turn signal on fuck stop that shit but anyways uh, I've gotten very uh, I had to be selective I, I just didn't stay at any old motel or hotel you know the smaller motels you want to stay away from uh, because they freaking uh, they're gonna they're gonna notice you as where the big chain hotels they probably they don't give a shit there's so many cars in the parking lot they don't have time and they don't have the staff to go out there and keep up with the cars so you're most likely gonna easier get away with the bigger chains but still you don't wanna you know like I said stay any more than a night uh, because you'll notice you so I just find myself moving around a lot and it just it got kind of annoying you know uh, but I'll tell you then you can go to the RV camps uh, there's a lot of cheap ones like I stayed at one it was only 750 a night but you know my van is self-contained I didn't need you know I had everything I had the only thing I got there was water but besides that I you know I have the solar panels on my van so that provided all my electricity needs and uh, as far as uh, you know I just needed a garbage which they had a dumpster where I can dump my shit in uh, so I could, I could be honest with you I could have got by with just staying there at 750 a night but I want you know I, I moved around to different locations because I didn't want to stay in one spot I wanted to you know I was uh, on vacation so I wanted to move around but uh, that's an option for you if you don't want to feel like moving around from hotel parking lot or rest stop parking lot trying to get you know stay for free you can find cheap campgrounds to stay at or you can go to BLM land which is free government land that you can stay on for up to like 15 days which I wish I'd have did try that at least one time out in Colorado because they got some really beautiful BLM land out there man that you can stay for free up to 15 days and then you can just go to another location and stay for 15 days so you literally can just live on BLM land move shit fuck I just go over man big ass fucking rock but uh yeah you can live on BLM land and uh but I don't know guys I mean I had a good time however I think I would if I were to do it permanently I would probably get an R like a, a like a class C or a B plus RV uh because It'll be more like home, you know, as where you can, you know, just feel like more like home. You got a dedicated bathroom, you got a dedicated shower, and uh, uh, you get you got a lot more room. Uh, I don't know, but that's why I said I have a big, I have a, a new appreciation and respect for van dwellers out there that have been doing it for years. But I tell you guys, if I were the type that I were, you know, if I were in debt, which I am not, I have not carried a single dime of debt since 2006, 100%, 100% debt free, and will never ever incur a dime of debt, hopefully never again, I hope, but you never know what life will do to you though. But for those of you that are trying to save, uh, you don't have any, you're trying to pay off your debt, it's an awesome way. I mean, you can save a ton. You can literally probably get by on $100 expense a month or less living in a van. So um, that'll help you get out of debt. So if you have a goal to get out of debt, that is definitely a way. But if you're comfortable like me where you have comfortable amount of money and you're good, you know, you may not, you may not appreciate the comfort <laughs> that a van you know you may feel a bit uncomfortable after a long period of time and uh, but I don't know it's whatever I'm just telling you how I feel and all I don't think I can live permanently in a van 100% you know but 
you never know i may try it out in the future i do plan on getting into the rv lifestyle one way or another either you know trying it out of my van in the future or or buying a, a, a class b plus like mercedes-benz um rv which i really love they're built well and uh they're built to last and they get good gas mileage they can get up they get like 15 miles per gallon so i don't know but just giving you my thoughts and feelings on it but hey guys if you haven't seen my videos my bug out trip videos go check that out i'll include uh a bunch of links to all the videos i did out there in colorado so if you you want to see how it was with me actually camping out in my van with my motorcycle which is a rarity you will I'm probably one of the only one out there with one of the only motor vlog I'm proud I can tell you I'm the only motor vlogger out there that camps out with his motorcycle in his van at least right now that may change somebody may uh, want to do my uh, idea in their van and, and set it up but yeah, guys, if you want to see my moto van videos of me camping out in Colorado, I'll include link in the description and comment section of this video. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate all you guys. Take care, and until next time, deuces. Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click to Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.